Megadeth is wrong. I have a problem with Kiko Lorero. Kiko did a video called Does Dave Mustaine Use Theory? And in this video, he talks about how Dave Mustaine uses zero music theory when writing songs. Let me put on my cans and we'll hear what he has to say. Give it to me, Kiko. Another one here from Yoris Binet. Does Dave Mustaine use theory to compose? Another question about Dave Mustaine and another question about theory. So, no. Uh, no, he, doesn't he use, says uh, no. Theory at all. At, at all. all. Theory at all. And uh, you have to understand. Okay, let's be honest. That is 420% false. If Dave Mustaine even knows one note on the guitar fretboard, which I'm sure he does, then he has a degree of music theory understanding. Just because you didn't go to music school for 69 years like Kiko doesn't mean you have zero understanding of music theory. By writing at least 666 songs, Dave Mustaine has taught himself theory. Let's we'll see what else Kiko has to say here. And the people are different, right? So a creator can play something and just imagine the mountains, the sea, the hell, where, you know, the, you know, <laughs> war, you know, imagine True. things like those sounds. Uh, Imagination is powerful. That riff to our machine gun or can relate that riff to a bomb exploding, you know, uh, in the case of Megadeth, but uh, you can play a chord and imagine. Talking the, about their the new mountains, album, the sun releases you know, on September second, uh, I believe. Whatever you know. So some people are like this, you know. Some other people they need the theory, they need the names, they need the things organized and to make sense, you know. So you need both. You know, that's why some people really relate on the theory and love theory. I love theory. Some other people don't don't feel they need theory to compose, to create. Now here's the reality, is whether you like theory or not, you're using it. The relationships between intervals and chord progressions are really scientific. And that's not something you can disagree with. If you don't believe me, just listen to atonal music. It's horrible. Whether or not you were taught music theory, you naturally figure it out because it's what sounds good. When I listen to Symphony of Destruction, for example, it's very clear to me, based on the structures that Dave Mustaine is using, that he has taught himself the rules of music theory. The intro starts in E Phrygian. That's a collection of notes there that belong together, and Dave is aware of that. When the chorus comes, he's using that blues scale concept and also the classic Iron Maiden metal progression, which is 1 7 6. Whether it's trial and error or you're taught by a professor, the result is the same. Keys, chords, scales. They all have to work together to make music. Now, Kiko makes another point I want to draw attention to here. The first question from Raya Ryan Periasami. Do you feel it's getting more difficult to practice and remember as you get older? Um, I don't think so. I believe learning, you know, uh, learning is a, is a habit, right? So it's not like learning is a learn, habit. learn, learn, and at some point you do your stuff. It's like uh, you go to university and you learn for four, five, six years, and then you're or ready 6 .9 to do your job. Years. It's not like this. When you get older, <laughs> you realize that the world is dominated by the doers, not the learners. The world is dominated by doers, not learners. And Dave Mustaine is a doer. He's figured things out on his own. And uh, you have to learn how to learn and learn how to make a learning process a habit in your life. So this is 420% true. I have people that come to me and they say, how do I remember a scale? That instantly tells me that you're practicing wrong. You must apply what you learn immediately or else you forget it. Attach meaningful significance to the notes in a particular scale, and I promise it will stick in your mind. Let's say you learn the Hungarian minor scale. Immediately write a riff with that scale. That way the notes will come to life and mean something to you. So I'm sure I will be 93, 95, 101 years old. 420 years new. old. Because it's a habit in my life. And the main thing is like, you have to learn and apply. 
learn and apply. Exactly you learn right. A lot, and then you think that a year from now we're going to start applying. This I used to just open up a scale book and just read all the random scales, and that's uh, worthless. In one year and out the other. It's not going to uh, happen, right? So in music, if you learn a new scale, a new chord, you have to improvise with that scale. You have to compose something with that scale. You have to write a song with that new chord. Otherwise, you are not, you know, uh, incorporate that knowledge. We are in agreement on this point. Now, I wanna hear your opinion on this topic. Does Dave Mustaine know music theory? Shh. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret and give you some game. You can drastically accelerate your progress in music theory and reach level 9,000 faster with my full course below in the description. Part of the problem is a lot of modern guitar players don't even know how to practice to get results. In my course, I show you how to practice scales properly. Pedal tones, chords, and the C word, k -k -k counterpoint. Once you start practicing with my secrets, you'll be blown away at the music you create. It's the difference between being just a guitar player and a real composer. Get free tabs and talk tunes with me, the Dark Lord himself, with my email list below. It's a free newsletter. To end this video, I'll play the most beautiful chord possible that will blow your mind. Mm -hmm.